Hey guys, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to diagnose a funnel that's not working to figure out where it's failing and to tweak it so that it starts working. And again, I'm doing this in real time for my own marketing agency. So I'm going to show you a funnel that I have that I created recently that isn't getting the results that I want. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do about it so that you can do a similar thing when you have a funnel that's not working. Now, if you've been doing this digital marketing thing for a while, you probably know that most things you try aren't going to work on the first attempt. One of the reasons that digital marketing is so powerful is that you can get real-time analytics that show you what parts of the funnel are working, what parts of the funnel aren't working, and you can test different variations side by side so you can make gradual improvements as you go along. So it's kind of a, a game of patience. You can't really expect everything to work right on the first attempt. You gotta spend some time tweaking and figuring out what works. So first of all, uh, let me give you a little background. I'm gonna talk about the funnel that I described in this video. So go watch that video to learn in depth about this funnel, but I'm gonna go over it really quick. I'm gonna give you like a basic schematic of it here. So let's uh, go into paint here. So what I'm doing is I'm running a Facebook ad or a series of Facebook ads. I'm testing some different things. And then the Facebook ads goes to an, a page, like a landing page, where on that landing page, the person has, a, there's a button at the bottom in order to go to an application. So from the landing page, they click the button, they go to the application page. And then if they submit the application, I get them on a call. And then on the call, I sell them my services. So this is my funnel. And I'll go ahead and turn it into a funnel here. And admire my brilliant drawing. Okay, so this is my funnel. And basically, I'm not getting any applications. I'm getting stuck at this application step here. So I'm gonna go through the funnel point by point, uh, step by step to figure out where the blockage is happening. Or maybe there are multiple blockages, right? So the first part is the Facebook ads. Uh, are the Facebook ads working? Are people clicking on them? And then I look at the landing page. Okay, is my landing page scaring people away? Uh, or the, are they going on to the application page? And then if they go to the application page, are they scheduling a call? And if they schedule a call, are they buying? Now, I know I'm, I'm stuck at least at the application page or somewhere before. So I'm going to go through my analytics for you so that you can see exactly what's going on here. Okay, so let's start with the Facebook ad since that's the first step. And I've got here are my, my Facebook ads results for like the last, what, eight days here. So I have four different variations of my ads going here and I'm getting, um, that's like 15 clicks for less than $15. So I'm getting less than a dollar a click on that one. This one's a little over $2 a click. This one's about a dollar a click. This one's about $2 a click. Okay. so between a dollar and two dollars a click here. So I'm getting like a dollar fifty a click. And I'll optimize this so that you know I'm I'm running more traffic to the to the ones that are working that are getting the, the better click through rate. But anyway, so I've got this is probably like 30 clicks to work with here. And by the way, getting a dollar a click on on these because my target market is very specific. I'm marketing to dermatologists, estheticians, and plastic surgeons. So assuming the targeting is working properly, this is actually really good. So I'm happy with that. So th th this is clearly not my problem. And oh, by the way, actually, I, I wanna show you this too. Um, I'm doing kind of a, a two tier strategy here where uh, yes, I'm trying to get the click, but I'm also trying to get video views because these are all uh, like a 13 minute long video that that's showing to these people. So. I want people to watch as much of the video as possible and then if they watch a certain amount of the video then I'll retarget them because clearly they're interested in what I have to teach. Well look at this second one I'm getting uh, 
I'm, I'm getting $14 for <clears throat> 10 video plays at 95%. So basically they watch the whole 13 minute video. Uh, so I'm paying $1.40 per 15 minute video view, which is pretty good. So anyway, so we can, we can kind of nix that part. We can uh, go back here and let's, let's give it like a green check mark. So the Facebook ads are doing well. That's not the problem. Okay, now next part is the landing page. So let me go over to my landing page here. And then the strategy session page, this is where, um, this is the landing page. Right, this is, this is the next page. That landing page is what's called strategy session here. So I'm getting 40 people, I got 40 people within the last week uh, clicked on that strategy session page. The number that went onto the next page is three. So three out of 40, that's like a, what, like a 8% or 9% um, click-through rate. That's pretty bad, right? So that strategy session page is not doing well. So let's give that one a big red X because that's not working. And then I also want to see of the people that are looking at the application page, how many are actually putting in an application. So here I have uh, three, the, if they go to the, the application page, there are only three people that went to the application page and zero of them um, went on to the thank you page, which means that zero of them filled out the application. And there's a one here, but I think that was just me. So uh, I'm, only, I'm getting zero out of three, so that's a zero percent. But on the other hand, it's out of three. It's kind of hard to really make any judgments about the effectiveness of that page because it's so little data. So um, I'm just going to put a, let's see how I can do this. I'm going to put a question mark. That's my question mark. <laughs> I'm going to put a question mark beside this one because I don't really know yet. I don't have enough data. So my, my big thing right now is this landing page. I got to figure out what to do about this landing page because the one that I got clearly is not working. So let me go in and show you my terrible landing page and see what we can do about it. So this, this strategy session page is the one. Oh, and I have I have two variations, and clearly they're both not working. So let me go back to the stats and see. Maybe there's a difference between the two. Um, oh, and ClickFunnels won't let me see because it doesn't measure button clicks, which kind of sucks. But, oh, I mean, yeah, with that little, with... So with only three going through, it's hard to say. I mean, it, it basically both of them failed, right? So I, I'm just going to choose one uh, kind of at random here. I'm just going to declare the control as winner because they both don't work, so it doesn't matter that I'm getting rid of the variation. And don't worry if you don't know what I'm doing right there. It, it doesn't matter so much. But let's go take a look at this landing page and see where it might be going wrong. And I'm gonna give you my ideas, but if you have your own ideas for what's wrong with this landing page, by all means, let me know in the comments. You know, it might actually help me out. So I say, work with us. Ah, uh, want to double, triple, or quadruple your revenue. I'm happy to help you design a custom marketing plan for your business. Okay, now, I actually kind of, uh, kind of, modeled this on Frank Kern's page, which is not marketed to doctors. It's just kind of general people who have a business or are starting, <clears throat> trying to start a business. So I think that I have to manipulate it a little bit so that it works more for a specific doctor sort of personality. And one thing I've been thinking of is that um, doctors are very hard science kind of people. They don't really understand marketing very well, <clears throat> but they think it's something that just any idiot can do. 
right? At least this is my working theory. So instead of my framing is that I'm going to help you get more revenue, well, they might look at that and think, oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm acting superior to them. Like, I can do something that they can't, right? Which, you know, of course I can, just like every other person in the world is better at their job specialty. But if, you know, people, some people are sensitive to that. Some people have, uh, you know, egos about that kind of thing. So if instead of saying, I can, I can do this better than you, which is basically what I'm saying here, I can say, um, how like something like how much time do you spend on marketing and how much do you want to spend right here i'm framing it completely differently i'm not saying that i'm going to make them more money or that i'm going to do the job of marketing better than they are i'm just saying hey let me take it off your plate let me take the grunt work you know, let me take the idiot work so that you can do your smart doctor work better. Right, so that's kind of the, the tack that I'm gonna take with this and we'll see if it works. And I'll probably, maybe I'll make this shorter. I don't know, I have to think about it a little bit more, but that's gonna be the main change that I'm gonna try is I'm gonna try all about taking work off their plate instead of doing better marketing. So if we go back here, um, that hopefully, you know, we'll see with the data, but hopefully that solves my problem with the landing page. Uh, and then from there, I'm going to have to, you know, test and run some more ads and figure out where it's going to go from there. So maybe, maybe my application page sucks and maybe I need to change that, but we'll know, uh, we'll know after I, I fix the problem higher up in the funnel. And then, of course, you know, even though Facebook ads are still working pretty well, I'm still going to tweak and optim optimize because they can always work better. And then as we get lower in the funnel, I'm going to have to tweak the application page and the call that, you know, I'm going to have to have to get better at, at my, my sales skills over the phone, et cetera, et cetera. So I hope you found this helpful. I hope you see how this, this approach can relate to your business. And yeah, probably your business doesn't have exactly the same funnel structure as mine, but just to write it out like this, and the visual helps a lot, by the way. If you can write out a visual funnel like this and then uh, figure out what your, your rates of going from one step to the next step are, and then you can figure out where the funnel is failing. Or even if it's a funnel that works, you can figure out where a funnel might not be working as well as it could, right? And that will help you in your digital marketing business of any kind a whole lot. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If so, I think you'll also really like this video. And please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and let me know any questions you might have in the comments. Till next time.